Last video, we started a construction company and we also built a house from scratch. This video, we're gonna be landscaping the whole yard of that house and also doing some shed sales. Let's get into it. Oh boy, we got a big day for the construction company. We're getting into landscaping a little bit. Nate was here, but he had to go run an errand and I'm just getting to work now. Check this out, guys. For landscaping, because we're landscaping the whole yard of this new house we built, we bought a International 1066. We didn't want to buy anything new. Good old International 1066 was going to get the job done. And then we have this cedar to seed down grass. And then we also have sod. We're not sure if we're going to seed down grass or if we're going to plant sod. Oh gosh, what is that? I forgot. That's exactly what we ordered. Nate's got a shed. We are getting into shed sales. So we're going to deliver it. We do everything here. I could have picked a better color. Also guys, I didn't tell you guys about this truck and trailer. We got paid 300k for the previous house build we did. And we're also going to get paid a little more for the landscaping. They're paying us in different installments so we currently have 280k right now and nate went and bought this truck and trailer to expand the shed business which cost us 100k total but give us a rundown nate these are some custom tow mirrors just for sheds only this back here is what we use to actually move the sheds around and this thing has all the hydraulics it needs they'll test it out lower it put it out anywhere you need it we can get it there within five minutes or less guaranteed nate's pretty much managing this shed business side and he runs this thing he runs a tight ship over here, so he does a heck of a job. But, guys, this GMC, it is one of the best sounding trucks ever. Nate, fire her up. This is going to be one of my favorite trucks. GMC, Duramax, it's going to be an awesome truck. Unfortunately, Nate's going to be driving it the whole time, so I might not be able to drive her much. You stay with your Fords over there. Okay, okay. So first things first, Nate's getting the rest of the sod loaded up here. I'm going to be moving over this mini skid steer. This is what we're going to use to unload the sod. And then we also have an auger in the back of the truck for the mini skid to like plant trees and stuff, dig holes for trees. So this is going to work good. We're going to get the 350 hooked up and head on over there. Hey Grant. Yep. What am I taking first? Am I taking the sod of the truck over first or I'm taking the shed over first? I'm thinking shed. Okay, we got the mini skid, but we're gonna have to come back and grab another trailer still. So, a lot of transport in here. You know, it'd be nice to have an escort. You'll be fine, Nate. You'll be fine. Okay, we should be coming up on the new house. There it is. Dirt driveway. It is, oh my gosh, it just about tipped the truck. Okay, we'll pull alongside of it and get her unloaded. Okay, so we'll get the ramps unfolded and then we'll get the chains off. And yes, this is actual chains, it's not just straps. Okay, good to go. The mini skid, we're gonna try and get the concrete mixer off here. We'll bring this whole thing. I gotta be careful coming down these ramps because it's sketchy on a two track. There we go, we're good, perfect. Okay, Nate's pulling in over on this grass. So we gotta get them unloaded. But first things first, we gotta go back and get that shed. Oh, that is fancy, Nate. That is really fancy you got going there, man. Okay, we are hauling the shed. It's a wild load, so we got to be careful here, but we should be able to get her done. And yes, it's a red light, so I'm getting out of my truck because I literally can't go. That's how this game is built. And this truck sounds awesome. Okay, so I got to find a place to park this thing because we have our trucks like and I got to not hit this sign here We're just gonna kind of take up the street for now and Nate's the only one that can run this trolley So once Nate gets here, we'll get this shed unloaded speaking of Nate the great there he is We have literally three trucks taking up the whole road right now, which is fine He's got a bunch of gravel So we'll have to move some gravel here and then he's got the 1066 to do the grass in the back All righty, you ready to get this shed off? Yes Let's pull down these flags off first. Okay. Yank off the flags of the trailer. And then the oversized load sign we'll remove two. Get those off. Okay. Nate's the boss on this. We'll just let him do his thing. Okay. Well, Nate's trying to get the shed unloaded there. It's a bit sketchy. Not going to lie. But he's trying to get her done. We're going to unload some sod until he needs my help getting that thing off there. He's getting a couple different dollies placed down. And we'll get the rest of the sod unloaded here. Okay. Let's see if we can do this. It's tough because this is at eye level right now. And I can't see my forks the best. What the? Okay, for some reason the pallet always wants to turn on us. And we'll just unload the sod right here. And we've got a couple more to go. Okay, we got all the sod unloaded here. And Nate got the shed off the truck. Let's stop for one second. Where exactly are they wanting the shed at? Okay, they're thinking the shed's going to go right over here. They want one of the doors facing the road? No, no, they don't want it facing the road. But they want it in this area. Then they did not look at that shed too well. Okay, Nate's going to try and move this thing over here. <laughs> Dude, it's a little trolley that could. Oh my gosh. 
He's getting it. He's getting it. Well, come on. <laughs> Listen, I never said I was a trained professional. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, Needs caught up in an issue. I need to get the teleskid down there to try and push this shit up there. I can feel it slipping. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Okay, I'm pushing. I'm pushing. There we go. There we go. Okay. Nate, I'm going to let you control it from here, man. Don't hit the house, Nate. Don't hit the house. Do not hit the house, Nate. Gotta give myself a little bit of encouragement for that one. Okay, perfect. We got the shed placed now. We're just going to have to do a lot of landscaping around it. Check this thing out, though. You got plywood inside, and it's going to be great storage for like a lawnmower, garden tractor, and just like a bunch of random stuff for the homeowner. Okay, so Nate's got the dump truck, and we're going to spread the gravel driveway across here. There we go, Nate. He's actually got it down pretty good. I've been working with you for many years. I know how you like it. Oh, look at that, dude. You got one more pass over here and should be good. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Okay, so we got the bucket on the mini skid. Let's see if we can level this out just a little bit and just spread it across here. Oh, this is working perfect. Okay, we're looking pretty good. We got her done, and actually, I got a little bit of gravel left over. We'll dump the rest of the gravel in the truck. We just barely fit over the top of it, and we're good. So Nate's getting the backyard all seated with grass, and then the front, they want to look nice right away, so that's why we're putting it sod. Okay guys, check this thing out. The house is done. We got all the landscaping done. Sod is laid. Got a lot of decorations, flowers up front, rocks and stuff that we brought in. This place is looking good. We're gonna get everything loaded up and head on back to the shop. Okay, so we're back and actually what's gonna be happening is Nate is gonna be building out more of our construction business over here. We bought this piece of land and he's gonna develop like kind of our commodity storage area. So like all of our gravel, our rock, everything we use for like landscaping jobs or construction jobs, we're gonna have across the road. So that is the plan. We gotta get building that thing and Nate's gonna be the manager of it. Alrighty, it's been a few days since we've seen everybody. Grant is currently out trying to put some bids out on some new projects. And while he is doing that, I just got our new organization set up over here. So we have our first ever material shop. So we can kind of keep everything we need to keep here. Kind of give you all a little rundown of what we did. We also went ahead and bought some new equipment. We had to pick up ourselves two Freightliner trucks. Both of these are 2013, so they're a little bit older than we wanted them to be. But they also came from the government, so they're cheaper. And and kind of right now, the way we're having to run stuff, cheaper is better. We also went ahead and got delivered some wood chips, some sand, and we have a little bit of tar when we have to tar someone's driveway and, of course, some gravel and some rocks. Alongside of that, we have a couple of sheds here we're trying to sell. We have our lumber piles right here. Definitely a lot of organization needs to be done in here. We kind of have some stuff grouped together. Now, this is interesting to me. We got some, of course, some aluminum right here. So we can put some aluminum tin on buildings, which will be really nice to do. Of course, our trailer, we went and picked that up some empty pallets back there and also we went ahead and picked up ourselves a case 821g it is a little bit of an older case ih wheel loader we went ahead and picked it up because we need a one of course with all the loose materials that we do have around here i think we have a pretty good little setup here it's nothing too big nothing too small but anyway guys thank you all so very much for watching today's video and hopefully y'all enjoyed it please do me a favor go check out my channel down below and hey we'll see you in the next one